Alright guys, <clears throat> today I'm going to be talking about the Southern Custom Tactical Gear. This is, this is more specifically, more specifically, the uh, Pro Carry model. This one actually sells for, if I'm not mistaken, it goes for $69.99. This one's for the 27, but they, they make this for uh, several different firearms. You can order um, how exactly you want it, um, different colors. And they are out of uh, Stafford, Virginia. So, and they do offer um, custom fitting if you uh, are actually in the neighborhood. You want to swing by. Um, they do ask that you set up an appointment. I don't think you'll just be able to just stop by and then fit a holster for your gun. <clears throat> but we'll just quick go over it real quick. Um, they do do a hundred percent. They do a one hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. They guarantee that all their holsters will satisfy your carry needs. Um, and they they're really receptive. You know they like to talk to their um, clients. They like to talk to their customers and they like for people to tell you what you think about their um product um i actually requested this and i told them that i usually carry with two different belts um i usually carry with a one and a half or a one and seven five eight inch belt i did opt to take the one and a half inch um that was shipped it came shipped with this over the belt clip one and a half inch uh, at zero cant where some people would prefer that angle straight up and down where the holster is like this I like it canted forward where I carry in the four o'clock position uh, I could understand where people would want the straight up and down maybe appendix carry or you know and you, you may very well like the uh, zero cant um, carrying inside the waistband in the three to four or five o'clock position but I prefer the uh, 1.75 inch clip just because it's easier on and off. Um, I can't tell that it holds the uh, holster any more, any more or less secure with the belt I use. So, um, But the good thing about this one is, is you don't have to order a particular cant. Like if you want the 0 or the 15, this one actually has um, the different mounting holes where you can adjust the cant yourself or change out the... Uh, mounting bracket if you was to want the different kind of clip or you know, in in the world of Kydex holsters <clears throat> uh, these over the but you can get over the belt clips you can get the ones that go underneath and come up around here from all kind of different places in the world but they specifically um, usually put this nylon over the belt clip and it's a really durable stiff clip the burnishing I don't know if you actually call it burnishing on kydex leather on kydex holsters but leather they actually go around and smooth the edges um, in a leather holster which I'm a lot more familiar with I'm new to the kydex holsters and I say I love them because to me they just work better for me um, but you can see there's perfectly smooth on all the surfaces so they did a really good job on the burnishing and this is the first holster I've ever seen that actually had when they vacuum this kydex down in the mold that has the slide serrations so when you put the firearm in for all you safety Nazis out there everything 100% fits perfectly even down to the slide serrations so you have a very good 100 percent positive retention i don't care what you do if you adjust this screw the way you want it you're not going to throw that out of there i mean you have to strip it out with some authority and you know that's another good thing about these holsters is they do have the retention screw so you can set it um as tight or as loose as you want it really good quality 
o-rings you can't see them in there because they're recessed up inside here <clears throat> but just overall the fit and finish of the holster is wonderful the they use really top quality Phillips mountain screws o-rings and single piece gussets um, a lot of times you'll see the ones that uh, when you tighten them up once they get so tight they just free spin free spin these actually snug down into um, and draw up the o-ring really tight and you get that real positive um, that you'd lock down and uh, once you get it set the way you want it I, I'm not going to lock tight these in because I want the option to be able to swap clips and stuff but you can put your little drop of lock tight on the screws I would say use blue not red because if you ever want to take them off but set it the way you want it and then you can just forget it um, I have carried this for a week I love this holster I think it's probably one of the better designs um, for this particular holster I mean excuse me this particular firearm that's probably one of the most perfect carry rigs I've tried so far y'all make sure y'all go check out Southern Custom Tactical I will uh, cut the video here in just a second and show you some of the draw drawing uh, techniques and how I <clears throat> actually carry this holster but I found out it didn't matter whether I wore this in slacks shorts jeans even skin tight pants I know uh, I don't know if everybody's got the exact same build that I have but I'm a little less blessed in the backside and a little more uh, blessed in the um, midsection so appendix usually just doesn't work for my body style so I carry this one in the four or five o'clock position uh, even in skin tight pants because even though it might be tight around your waistline around your hip to center of your back you usually have a little bit of um, extra give in the material <clears throat> so that's where I typically carry this and even in skin tight blue jeans I've carried this firearm in this particular holster even sleep on the couch that's one of my uh, testing prerequisites is if I can put this in my pants and take a nap on the couch and don't feel anything uh, I, I give that a thumbs up in my book and I have been able to do this with this holster so like I said very sleek very trim um, it does have a little bit of give on the sights because you know a lot of times people put different sights this one just has the standard Glock sights but if you had a little bit taller sights it would still work you have clearance I'm not pointing at me, I'm pointing at the camera, as you can see, you have a little bit of give for the sights. Everything's enclosed, the trigger guard's enclosed. Um, it's cut really good where you can get a good purchase up inside the grip. You know, some of them actually come over right here and it kind of limits what you can get. This one you can get a whole two fingers which the grip of the 27 is short anyways you can get a full purchase on the grip how I would draw pull it out <clears throat> and then it's cut generally enough around where it's not gonna get into your mag release whether you had it on either side because some of the newer generations have them either sides so it locks in really good around the trigger guard doesn't interfere at all with the magazine release and just it's just a really well built really well formed cut it well most of these kydex holsters are because they actually put them in a um, jig with the kydex hot and vacuum it around the firearm so you get a really good fit and then they go in and size all this stuff around you know for the mountain hardware fit everything perfect that's a really awesome really awesome it's on par like I said $69 that is about what you're gonna pay for a good holster um, not afraid to skimp out if you're gonna pay four or five hundred dollars six hundred dollars and up for a um, 
firearm that you're going to carry trust your life with don't skip out and buy a five or ten dollar um cheap walmart holster i mean it's better than nothing but i do know that when i put this one in and lock it into my belt every time it's coming i'm not going to pull the holster out with a gun so very secure very easy on and off i can just pop this out of my belt throw it in the dash if i'm into a non-friendly firearm place just really love this holster and like i said i've carried it for a week with a g27 <clears throat> and i would not be afraid to carry with this particular holster um um design uh, even larger firearms like a g27 uh, excuse me uh the g23 g19 i think it would be a very very good option for those of y'all who's looking for a holster for your glock um be sure and contact them um that's not the only holster they make they make various other ones i'll put the links in below you can go check them out and they'll hook you up all right on to the draw all right guys, I figured I would show you just how easy this uh, holster is. This is the Southern Custom Tactical Gear. This is their Pro Carry model, specifically for the G27. Firearm is, uh, does have a full magazine, but uh, firearm's empty. Just want to use the full magazine for go with the weight. Pretty easy to put in. Just grab your belt, slide her into place. Let's see, it seals pretty well. Really like it with the short grip of this uh, G27. You can see reholstering. Pretty simple. And this holster is not going anywhere. It's locked in. And if you decide that you need to, uh, you know. Pop it out. Let's grab your holster, your little clip, pop it up, take it out, put it in the console of your truck, or taking it off for the evening. And you just grab your belt, pop it right back into place. Easy peasy. show you right quick. Uh, this is not really not my body style. I have a little bit more up front so I usually carry in the uh, four to five o'clock position. It just hides better. Um, but this rig also work good. Um, appendix carry. If you have the body to uh, Support that. We position the camera. As you can see, works real well there too. Pretty nice holster for the G27. Make sure y'all go check them out. I'll put a link in the description below.